probable cause due to the uh, positive identification yes, sir. and the accusations, we have probable cause to arrest you. Newly released police car video showing Fort Myers police confidently telling NFL player Nate Allen they had good reason to arrest him for a crime he didn't commit. The police department releasing the video less than 24 hours after announcing no one's going to be fired for the botched arrest or for the police department's now infamous recommendation that he be prosecuted. The state attorney slammed the police for that move and this video seems to show why. Four in your corners, Lisa Greenberg beginning our team coverage. Lisa? Well, Patrick and Amy, the video shows Fort Myers police pulling him over because they say he matched the description of a man who exposed himself to a teenager. Here's what happened next. Sitting in the back of a cop car, hands cuffed and head down, Nate Allen sounds genuinely surprised. Wow. I just have no clue. What? I didn't do anything. The video shows Allen's truck pulled over. It also shows him getting cuffed and walking to a squad car in shock. I, I don't understand what, what happened. It's a pretty serious accusation. The accusation came after a 16-year-old girl told police a man exposed himself to her. Despite a court ruling that says police aren't supposed to, they brought the victim to face Allen, who was taken outside the car. Going back this way. All right. The teen was asked if Allen was the guy, and she said yes. You have been positive in the ID. You are under arrest at this time. Allen didn't understand. She said I made inappropriate gestures at her. Um, that's going to all be explained to you. Okay. So he started coming up with possible answers on his own. I was just talking to my buddy on the phone, and maybe I was making hand gestures while I was talking. I have no, sir, I don't even know. Instead of giving him answers. What's going to happen, Mr. Allen, is yes, that um, you're going to go talk to a detective. Officers made small talk with Allen to keep him calm as he politely cooperated with police. So you from down here, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, born and raised over in Cape Coral. Meanwhile, outside the squad car, you can see an officer pull out a police statutes book, then put it on the hood of the car and thumb through it. Despite having the law in front of them in black and white, they arrested Allen for a felony crime. I believe it's a second degree felony. When it should have been a misdemeanor. FMPD's five month long internal investigation later concluded the officers misinterpreted the state statute. Throughout the video, Allen seems serious, concerned, and truly baffled. Sir, I swear I have no clue about a sixth I don't but the video shows the officer who looked up the statute anything but serious smiling and laughing with the other officers Allen was eventually driven back to the police station where officers told him where he was going next I'm gonna put you in a holding cell now police records show once Nate Allen was taken into the holding cell, a detective interrogated him, repeatedly accusing him of the crime. A five-month internal affairs investigation concluded the officers misinterpreted the law. The chief says it means four of them are getting disciplinary action, but not fired. Live in the studio, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Lisa. Nate